dude, you're driving mad recklessly. Oh my gosh. He's, we killed a man. He was dead. I haven't even touched the controls and things have already gone wrong. Oh no, he's coming back for revenge. You gotta run, boy. Oh my gosh, he is. Was well, he gonna attack? Attack me. Come at me, bro. Ow. Here, take the light. Oh, wait, where? Oh, <laughs> thank you, God. Ah, uh, take that, right in the crotch. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. It's so weird how there's two people on the front of the boat, but there's no one, like, on the back. I am your biggest fan. I really am. I'm glad to hear that. I sound like Patrick Bateman. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the coffee thermos I've seen in my dreams. Statistics? It's probably, like, um, coffee thermoses collected and all that. Holy flip! Kills with revolver, kills with flare gun, kills- I've killed more with a flare gun than a revolver. Not many people can say that. Kills with shotgun, hunting rifle, flashbangs, vehicles, indirect kills. How- there's a lot of ways to kill people. Birds killed. Ah, PETA, look away. Batteries used. Manuscript pages found. Coffee- I called it! <laughs> <laughs> I was joking, but that's actually a thing. Hello? Dude, so suspenseful. What kind of drug deal are we doing? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. You are creepy! I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. I insist. Thanks. Thanks. I have to return some videotapes. Can I go in this door? I want to find all the coffee thermoses now. Um, is it just me or does the side of this house look like Squidward's house? Let's just get inside and light a candle or, uh, oh, the wood burning stove if we have one. Oh, now I've got my hopes up. That'll make things cozy. Hello? Anyone here? I heard footsteps. I'm- no one's gonna tell me I didn't hear that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn this corner and there's gonna be like a creepy little girl with a ball on the stairs. <sighs> okay, no, no creepy little girl with a ball. No! I jumped so horribly. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Jump in. It's not clear at all. It's dark. Yeah, this this is tar. This is straight up tar. Hello? An old generator had been connected to the power old cable. Old is putting it very lightly. Yeah. This thing is going to explode. Well. Oh. Hello there. Oh I my gosh. <laughs> it's in the study. Go take a look. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I'm definitely taking a look, but I was not prepared for that. Damn it, Alice! What just happened? God damn it! I needed some time alone to think things through. Yeah, reflect on how much of a jerk you're being. <laughs> Stop making such goofy faces. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> what is that? Alice? Oh no. Now my wife actually is being murdered, and I can't take it seriously because I saw that face. Oh, dude, we're lucky to be alive! If we would have taken one more dry- Ah! We're not alive now, thanks to me. If we would have, like, gone any further, that's death, immediate- as I just proved. Did my car just honk at me? Yo! If we let- stayed in that car, like, Five whole minutes later, we would have died. Hello again, Morgan Freeman. Please, I've been in an accident. I, this is where I get murdered. I regret everything. I had to figure a way out of this. That's Shining, that's clearly a Shining reference, right? With his ax like Nicholson in The Shining. There we go, okay, uh, how do I shoot? Oh, like that, okay. I don't know why I'm in such a rush. I'm not actually being chased by anything. I can just... I need to keep my big mouth shut. That's what I need to do. Dang, that's the tree that Kratos chopped down. Hello, Biltmore Lodging Company. You got any cool stuff for me? <gasps> you do! Well, I've got a shotgun now. I look so tough and manly. Hey! Ah! There's another one! Uh, okay. No, no, not that! You fool! Uh, 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 uh. I cannot remember the last time a game has stressed me out this much. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. No, it doesn't, Rod Serling. Glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Moorcock? The Moorcock Institute? You have to be joking. Get a whole bunch of stuff. Pick up! 
Pick it up! Oh, item limit reached. Okay, maybe I just shouldn't write about axe murderers anymore. You know? Maybe I should only write about friendly guys. Press, 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 press. Okay, there we go. Ha! I've outsmarted. I have not. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I don't think a world-renowned author would say talking crazy. I think it would say like rambling like a lunatic or rambling like a madman or something like that. That is 100% Don Knotts on that poster. Dude, what a setup. This is clean. Can my recording room? Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, yes. You can mess with chairs. Peak game. Yes! Can I climb up on the desk? Oh my gosh. I am not supposed to be up here, am I? I'm here two seconds and I'm already breaking the game. <laughs> can I get on top of my wife? <laughs> oh my gosh, don't take that out of context. Oh my gosh. He was not joking. This really is the worst weather in, in history. Whatever he said. We're like in a city, but out there is just nothingness. That's insane. That's scary. We're gonna die. What's this? Alan Wake returned to sender. I gave a letter to the postman. The song is copyright. Translation, I shouldn't sing it. Honey, I think the weather is kind of lightening up. I can see another building finally. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. <laughs> Ooh! Can you perform a miracle and fix the plant that I messed up? It's, it's genuinely bothering me. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> you okay? I'm sorry. Are you okay as I blind you with this flashlight? We'll just break out the candles. Bright Falls, present day. Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? Like you're gonna attack me in my dreams. Oh my gosh, no, a cat's missing. Find it. So there is a hole, but it's like blocked by the- Wow! This guy messed with the wrong world famous writer. <laughs> that was a palette that I just burst into a million pieces with one kick. I'm like a Super Saiyan, wake at lover's peak. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. I fought with the urge to take a swing. Dude, just kick him, he'll explode. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. My clinic is a place where- oh, yes! oh, Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. My heart is racing! I'm alright. I don't want to- It jumped a mile when he punched the guy. What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Uh, wait here. <laughs> Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? I love that I can just walk out on people's conversations and then walk back into them and they pick them up like nothing happened. That's fantastic. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Dude, I'm gonna smack Situation you with the coffee thermos I just found. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Into thin air. Look, I get it. You don't believe me, okay? You don't have to, like, rub it in. Give me some donuts. Whoa! What? Every step I take is a disaster. Ow. What was that sound? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! This game is no joke. I don't know when I'm gonna learn to stop underestimating the power of third person horror games. I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There were- This is the guy who I made fun of for wearing a camouflage outfit. <laughs> it's so weird how there's two people on the front of the boat, but there's no one like on the back. <laughs> Have you ever punched a kidnapper off of a viewing platform? Alan Wake did, but he did it wrong and he sent himself off the edge too. The kidnapper in question is nowhere to be seen. However, I suspect he's using his camouflage outfit to blend in so we can't see him. Oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. <laughs> Thank goodness for iframes. Flare gun, flare gun, flare gun. Oh, boom. No, that's not the flare gun. What are you doing? Is that guy dual wielding? I can't do that. That's cheating. Well, I guess I am actually. Ugh. No, what is wrong with you? I mean me. I mean, both of us. So this is what happened to Alex, Marty, Melman, and Gloria. What am I doing? This is not smart. Well, I made a thing happen. You wouldn't stab someone with ADHD, would you? He would. Wait, what did I do? I didn't shoot. I'm out of batteries. That's a huge problem. That's really bad. That's my only means of self-defense. And the gun. If this tire swing starts swinging on its own, I'm gonna lose my mind. But, ah, I stole their thunder. When somebody goes to do your haunting, what you want to do is out haunt them. Oh, uh, this is the bathroom from Saw. I recognize it. Ooh, what's this? A story is a beast with a life of its own. The story dies. Alice dies. Okay, so the stakes have been risen. 
have oh. oh be gone spawn of satan this is sexism incarnate look no doors in the stalls in the women's room doors on the stalls in the men's room sexism seriously did they just forget to put doors in here Closed for renovation. Okay, so they probably took the doors off. I am very much overthinking this. Let's go visit Jesse and Walter White and see if they've got any, like, <sighs> meh. Can I crawl through this? It looks so crawl throughable. That is a word. I promise. Flare gun ammo. <gasps> the I flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Dark things? Whoa! <laughs> That was the most instinctive thing I've ever done in my life. Barry? Barry Wheeler? Okay, we're fine. <gasps> Thank you, God. It's Barry. It was the kidnapper. The man wanted a manuscript. In I two days. I tried to write him one to get Alice back. Therefore, I'm writing it by hand. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diary. Oh, no. Good girl. Get that creepy smile off your face, woman! We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? Gosh dang it, Alan! I told you to watch what you put in your search history! But before we go see the FBI agent, we have to meet up with... this. <laughs> you mind me asking what you want with her? I'll we want to ask her out on a date. Because after all, who wouldn't want to date someone named Rosé Marigold? Would you like to hear today's specials? No, but I would like to hear how much dialogue you have left in you. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. See ya. What is happening? If I stand here and like do this, I'll make it look like I'm causing it and that'll convince them to stop chasing me. That's not safe. That is a fire hazard. We're gonna burn the whole woods down. Also, why are the sparks coming from the leaves and not the cord? The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Are you absolutely kidding me? I can't be the only one who's noticed that Alan Wake's solution to every problem is to kick things, right? All right, who destroyed Luigi's Leaning Tower of Tires? I'm gonna kill them. Never mind, I'm out. I need my guns. I need my guns and my freedom. Like a true red-blooded American. Uh-oh. You are not true red-blooded Americans. I mean, you were, but... Revolver! <gasps> my life is saved! Shotgun ammo, but no shotgun, that's okay. What just happened? Did he literally just accidentally kill himself by stepping into this light? This place is creepy, I'm getting out of here. But what's down there? There's something down there, I'm not gonna ignore that. I'm ADHD, you can't just put a sparkly thing in front of me and expect me not to go for it. Uh oh. What do we got here, flashbang? <gasps> this was totally worth it. This is a hunt, I'm pretty sure I used less than six bullets to do this. Oh, maybe I didn't. But I still got a flashbang, so that's cool. Oh, the sh- <gasps> Is that the shotgun or the hunting rifle? I don't know, but I'm grabbing it and find it. It's a shotgun. Okay. Ah! Even though the darkness- I am- This is not- that, 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 that. Okay. Uh, run! Reload, reload, reload. Oh, headshot! Okay. Ooh, it was stressful, but I did it. I'm pretty sure I used every ounce of the supplies that I gained from this, but, you know. At least I have gained a simple accomplishment. Oh my gosh, it's a pipe. Ah, the pipes are attacking me. <laughs> what the heck? What was I supposed to do against pipes? Uh-oh, it's not safe right here. Oh, how am I still walking? I'm not human. Alan Wake is not human. It's like Ethan Winters in Resident Evil Village. Always getting hurt, but he just gets right back up. The darkness could possess anything. But can it possess my new heavy duty flashlight? Well, Flashlight, you were a great companion, but you're overshadowed by your bigger brother. I am- Oh, Flare! 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 Why did I let you out? I'm so dumb! All right, I'm just gonna sit here at the threshold of this doorframe and heal. No, that's taking too long. Never mind. I am very tired. I need so much coffee right now. <laughs> All the thermoses in the world, please. That matches my shirt that I'm wearing, which says... Can you see it? Yes. Permanently tired. My wife got me this shirt as a gift and it's literally my favorite shirt now, so thank you, Sky. This is massive. Can we just talk about that? Like, this is big. It's a big, 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 and I mean big, big, it's Colorado. Can I not simply drive? 
Like, am I walking this distance when I don't actually need to? I think I am. I got so into talking about my shirt. I can just pick and choose whatever car I drive, huh? But I stand by the vehicles that stand by me until I can't anymore, until I feel like I can't anymore, so. Sorry, Jeep, but I'm sticking with Chucky. I don't think I'll be driving that car. Wee. Uh-oh. I'm disappointed in myself. But can I do it well? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Ha! Jump down the stairs, you're the parkour man. Ah! I don't want to drive off the edge of the cliff. He's going over that cliff! Ah! I should be paying attention to these signs! You know, I'm starting to think the vehicles don't handle very well on dirt. Portables and septic, 555-325-9071. Cool, I wonder what happens if I actually call that number. 555-325-9071. It's not real, it's fake. Okay, um, I was prepared. If somebody answered the phone, I was prepared to ask, is this portables and septic? Okay, Trucky, let's get a move on. Bright coal. Oh, so, uh, b <laughs> Bright Falls Coal Mine. I thought it said Bright Coal Washington Falls Mine Mining Corp. Okay. All right. Well, which way should we go? Caution or caution? Where the hell are you? Change of plan. Let's go to caution. Not enough caution. What's this? More caution. Okay. I think this should just be renamed the Caution Building. Oh gosh, I almost fell. Not enough caution. You can't hit me. I'm too advanced. Ow, you hit me, okay. That's a barrel trying to break free. Oh, I have to open, oh, 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 oh. I, I have to open it? All right, you know what, I'm gonna be smart about this. Flare. Uh, flare. Drop. Come on, let me be smart. Whoa, it's a twister. It's a twister, oh, it's like the dream in which I made the exact same joke. Okay, well there's someone in here, so. Ha, huh. show yourselves. FBI, open up. Just kidding, it's not FBI. I mean, yes, it is FBI. Ooh! Well, at least he came out with his hands up. Ooh, flare gun ammo, yeah, I don't mind if I do. Shotgun ammo, flashbang, this was incredibly worth it. Ah! You throw another wheel at me, I'm gonna lose it. Cross the ghost town, but there's g g g g ghosts there. Ah! I am now one of them. Oh no, Thomas! What did you do to Thomas? There we go. No more birds. Ah! I'm gonna wait for my flashlight battery to recharge. In the meantime, I'll be mindful of the dang -er that lurks here. All you had to do is just walk around the ladder and kick it, huh? Well. That lends credence to my uh, theory that Alan solves all his problems with kicking them. Once again, we kick, and once again, it explodes. Okay. <gasps> Instead of kicking, we're pushing. That's a nice change of pace. Oh, now we're kicking, okay. <laughs> See, the kidnapper just doesn't know who he's messing with. What the frick is this old abandoned insane asylum orphanage? I feel like this place is gonna cave in any second. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Fine, flashback. So now that I know that's gonna happen, I'm prepared with my flare gun and whatnot. Can I fire the flare gun? Drop a flare here, fire one over there. Have fun in the land of Oz. Send a postcard. Oh, can it be? Apartment. I <laughs> That's awkward. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. And you have a big mouth. Well, at least I can put the chair back like a gentleman. And at least the room is cozy. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Where'd you hide Diver's Isle? Where'd you put it? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> Do it again! The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key. Bro! 
Alan awakes like <laughs> a terrible person. <laughs> Woman like got her head hit with a hammer by a maniac, but she probably had it coming because she works for a guy I don't like. Ha ha, I took your keys. Ha ha. You got hit with a hammer. Yay. Barry, where are you going? Oh, you're going to your car. Where'd you go? Wait, ah! hey, who's been camping here? This looks like they were here recently and I'm gonna steal their coffee thermos because I need it more than they do. Why is he so protective of the cardboard cutout? That's gonna be the big plot twist at the end. This is Barry Wheeler's gay and has a crush on Alan. <laughs> Oh, kick. Was that even necessary? <laughs> Alan's just addicted to kicking things. If I just wanted to, I could write 10 books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you Why does right. Alan turn into right. <laughs> Rocky Balboa could. when he's right. drunk? What? I'm like miles She's taller than this lady. You were foolish to think so. Is this what it's like to be Lady Domatresque in Resident Evil Village and just look down on everyone? <laughs> Oh, bye, Nightingale. Oh my God. Light. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love how like perfectly half-hearted she was about that. Oh my gosh. Anyway, she's a strong woman. <gasps> I don't know why that was funny to me, but it was. So he like wrote himself into the story, and he wrote a number of other characters into the story to try to help him as well. Can't he just add Jesus? <laughs> You know, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'd do it. Ghost Lady when Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight and, and Benito Mussolini and the Blue Meanie and Cowboy Curtis and Jambi and the Genie appear with what? Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea of how this can all be resolved. Alan Wake can write that he has the Infinity Gauntlet, right? And he just snaps the Ghost Lady out, out of existence and gets his wife back, though. <laughs> Robocop, Terminator, Captain Kirk and Darth Vader, Lopan, Superman, every single Power Ranger, Bill S. Preston and Theodore Logan, Spock, The Rock, Doc Ock, and Hulk Hogan also appear <laughs> lightning fast. Why does he need old wife when he can write Lady Dilmatresque as his new wife? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell about that? <laughs> I love the acting in these. Take that, nerds. You nerds in your plain white collared shirts and your ties and your pocket protectors. I do not trust those barrels. I do not trust those people. <laughs> Barry! You like that one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Christmas Barry Christmas. Wheeler. Look at this man. Protect We're over here suggesting writing Goku and Jesus and... Spider-Man and whoever else into the story and meanwhile Alan wakes over here like and then Barry put on a suit made of Christmas lights and a headline <laughs> Eat flash bang you darkness thriving suckers. Can I just shoot it? Come on surely I can just shoot this right? All I'm doing is wasting ammo shoot the chain. Yeah, I tried to shoot the chain. It didn't work. Oh my gosh Question, why did my first 12 bullets not do that? Do I have to shoot the chain again? Oh, you shoot the wood that it's attached to, not the chain, okay. Oh, shut up. I mean, I know you just took a knife to your face, but yeah, if you guys weren't here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ever since episode one, I've wondered if you could switch the camera to the to Alan Wake's other shoulder, and you can. It's Tab. Tab does that. How long have I been able to do that? The whole game, probably. Alan Wake finally wrote that he could switch which eye he looks out of. <laughs> have I crossed enough of the Transformer yard yet? <laughs> like, honestly. Is this an Autobot yard or a Decepticon yard? That's a stupid dad joke, I'm so sorry. Cross the Transformer. Is this what Transformer yards are like in real life? Just a maze of live wires you can't touch? Probably, actually. You know what my solution to this is whenever something like this happens in a game? Just mess around. Just keep randomly pressing buttons until the solution emerges. <laughs> what kind of jump was that? <laughs> I didn't have to worry about her. <laughs>
Yeah, some animator somewhere looked at that jump frame by frame and was like, yeah, that looks good. Ah, sunglasses indoors. How stylish. Oh my gosh, thumbnail. Look at this man, this fashion man. Oh, it's perfect. Spoiler for those who haven't read the book What yet. the heck is he looking at? Sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. I know people say spoiler warning before they give spoilers, but like, what are you supposed to do? Like, hold your ears? That's not socially acceptable. What, Verizon? Like, how I much did they? To make up also, that's my cell provider. That's cool. Verizon, if you're watching this, I'll, I'll sponsor. Uh, their app actually makes it really easy to keep track of how much data you're using as well. But I have the unlimited data plan, so ha. Checkout time is 10 a.m., no loud music, and no pets. Dang. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors allowed on the premise after 9 p.m. No accept. This is a very strict motel. Am I allowed to eat past 12 p 12 a.m.? Dude, this looks so much like my old car that it's actually giving me nostalgia. I had my first kiss in that back seat. <laughs> oh, hi. He's the most, he just casually strolled in here. <laughs> Bro, what if that actually wasn't a taken? It was just someone that I blinded with this bright light and then shot to death. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Oh gosh, I should not have, I should not have made fun of the bulldozer. <laughs> I mean, that's all there is. I just love it when a big truck falls out of the sky and almost hits me. Well, that's a big old, like, submarine-looking propeller that came out of nowhere. Where's that from? I just saw a truck fall from the sky, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw something else fall from the sky. Yeah. yeah, these guys. These guys that just run around constantly. They're so irritating. Oh, did I nail... I nailed him! With a flare gun. Heck yeah. Oh, gosh. Is it so much to ask that he just stays in one place long enough for me to, like, obliterate him? I mean, probably. Look at the- what, what is this objective? Look at this objective. Destroy the tornado. Like, not knowing- Whoa! Okay. Don't you throw that car at me. Well, I was gonna step out and face the tornado, but now I'm kind of scared to after what just happened. Well, I guess that's it. I just defeated a tornado. Not a sentence you hear every day. I promised to be good. Well, that got kinky real quick. It's the hug of death. Oh, dude, it's like Avatar. Like the end of Avatar when he takes away Ozai's bending. <laughs> Bro found a giant lion turtle at the bottom of the cauldron lake and like decided to just take the ghost lady's bending away. GG for a W game. Uh, yeah, I totally agree, but now I don't know what to play. So yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next series, whatever it ends up being. Have a good day, everyone. And a very good day to you as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching the Alan Wake series highlights compilation. That is a mouthful. I hope you enjoyed it because I spent a lot of time and effort on it. Uh, but don't forget that there are several great moments from the original uncompilated series that didn't quite make the cut, so be sure to check those out as well. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see all of you next time. Goodbye, everyone.